This is the fifth video for the creation art series. To create the other crafts, find them on the link on our channel and the creation art playlist. We are now on the fourth day of creation. On the first day, God created light. On the second day, He created the sky. And last time, we talked about the third day of creation, where the Lord created the land sea and all the plants let's continue on the fourth day on the following verses genesis 1 verse 14 to 19 then god said let there be lights in the sky to separate day from night these lights will be used for signs seasons days and years they will be in the sky to give light to the earth. And it happened. So God made the two large lights. He made the brighter light to rule the day. He made the smaller light to rule the night. He also made the stars. God put all this in the sky to shine on the earth. They are to rule over the day and over the night. He put them there to separate the light from the darkness. God saw that all these things were good. Evening passed and morning came. This was the fourth day. On the fourth day of creation, the Lord created the sun, moon, and stars. And that's what our craft is going to be about. We'll be creating a tunnel book desk display of the skylights. What we will be needing are the bond papers, colored art papers, board, one that you usually use for calling cards, ruler, pencil, scissors, cutter, cutting mat or chopping board, glue, coloring materials, black mark, and optional single hole puncher. We are going to make the bookcase first. Let's start with the side accordion fold. I'm using A4, but if you're using a letter size, that's okay too. Just have to make sure that you use the same size for your bond paper, art paper, and board if you have any. But if you don't have any art paper, just use bond paper all throughout the project. I'll be showing you how to do that later. Take your paper, ruler, and pencil. We need to mark every one inch on the shorter side until you reach the end. Do this for both sides. After you've marked it, use your ruler to help you fold. Find each mark on the edge and fold it towards your ruler. Flatten it and we have to fold alternately in the front first then in the back like this here the ruler can still help you out with the exact measurement you just have to reverse the fold by using it this way your folds will be even at the end there will be an excess of the paper connect the two marks and then cut it off Careful when you use the scissor, okay? When you're done with that, fold it in half. Get your scissors again and divide it into two. Now we have our two sides. Get your board, if you have one, and fold it in half. If you don't have any, just get another bond paper instead and fold that in half. Then cut into two pieces. This will be our front and back cover. Our front and back cover should be the same size with our sides. We will be attaching them later. Let me make another side accordion for the bond paper.
I'll be working on the boards for now. I'll teach you how to work solely on the bond paper later. Take one piece to be our front cover. Remember our sides measurement is one inch. We'll also need to make a one inch border around the front cover. They should always have the same size, the side and the border. Make sure that you work on the inner side. We will be removing the inner rectangle to make a window frame for the front. You can use a scissor to remove the inner part, but that would be a little challenging. It will be easier if you use a cutter instead. Always use a cutting mat or a chopping board when you're using a cutter. In this case, you won't damage the surface of your table. And don't be shy to ask for help if you can't use a cutter yet. I don't want you hurting yourself, okay? Be careful not to damage the remaining frame. Use a ruler to guide your blade. If you made a mistake and did so, you can either use a scotch tape to stick them together or just ask someone older to do this part for you. Our front and back covers are ready and we can combine them together now. Take the part that you remove from the front cover. We'll use this for the bottom of our tunnel book. Determine how big your cover will be. You can reduce the size or not. What we need to do is to make a fold on each side. The size should be smaller than our border. Since we have an inch for that, let's make half an inch here. We'll fold it again with the help of the ruler. Our bottom piece should look like this. Now it's time to attach this to the window frame. Get your glue and stick it at the bottom. Make sure that you're gluing it to the piece that has the pencil marks. Use scotch tape to attach it securely. Get one side and we'll combine it to the front cover with a glue. The main reason why the side and the border should be at the same size is because you need to attach them together. If the frame is too small, the side will have excess parts sticking out. Repeat the same process for the other side. Then attach the back cover using the same method. Make a 1 inch mark on the edge of both sides of the back cover so you'll have a guide on where to place the bottom part. Now we have our book cover and it's standing up well. We are now going to make the pages for our tunnel book. Prepare your art papers. We made original printout guides for you that you can download. Link in the description below. You can just print the images directly on your art papers like what I did. But if you don't have any printer, that's okay. I'll teach you how to draw it directly and make your own design. I'll be making the day setting first. Get a blue or yellow art paper for the background. Fold them in half like so. And cut them. Let's try to put them in the tunnel book. It doesn't really fit well. That's why we need to cut a piece from each. Measure 1 fourth inch from one end. Make two marks and connect them. Then cut away with your scissors. Now they snugly fit. Choose your color and image. I want to cut this sun to put on the day setting. Note of the unnecessary parts that needed to be removed. It's usually in the middle. And don't rush. Just carefully trace the areas with the cutter.
The borders for each book pages is half an inch on all sides. This is because it should be smaller than the main border on our book cover. Wow, our sun stencil looks great. Now remember, even with the printout guides, you still need to remove one fourth inch from the book pages for them to fit perfectly inside the tunnel book. So always keep that in mind. Here's how our sun will look with a blue background. Can't wait to put all the book pages inside and see how it will turn out. Continue to choose which color and printout guides you would like to use as pages. There are four cloud designs and two sun designs. Choose different colors for the clouds and the sun and the background as well. Choose as many layers as you want to. For those of you who don't have a printer, don't worry, we'll get to that part later where I'll teach you to do your own design. Arrange your book pages in whatever order you like. You can also remove some and put another. That's the beauty of the tunnel book. You are free to create the image you want with this beautiful effect. Look how our day setting turned out. We can always change and add book pages whenever we like. But for now, let's leave it at that. Let's go to the night setting. Use darker art papers for this. You can also use scissors to cut away the clouds. Finally, for those who have art papers but don't have any printer, and for those who freely want to create their own design, here's the instructions for you. The most important thing to remember, regardless of whatever design you want to draw, are the one fourth inch that you need to remove from each book pages and the border of one half inches. Once you mark the border around the book pages, you are now free to draw whatever you want. However, since we are creating clouds here, it's good to make note of where you want to place them so that they can still be visibly seen on our tunnel book. Once you're satisfied with the design, remove the unwanted parts with scissors or cutter. It's time to go to the moon and stars. Use a black art paper for this. If you don't have one, just use a black marker to color the paper. There are guides for the moon and stars. However, it will be hard to print on a black paper. So let's just draw them freely. Again, don't forget the borders and the one whole inch. I'll be using the two halves of the black paper so we'll have the option for the night sky. Draw your moon while you look at the existing clouds. We want our moon to be seen amidst everything. You can draw stars or shapes like so that looks like diamonds all over the paper. Change the drawing on the second black paper to depict a different moon. I'm making a full moon here, then some stars and bigger diamond. If you have a single hole fastener, use it to make circles on the black paper. The big difference between these book pages from the rest is where we are cutting. Observe then when we were cutting earlier, we remove a bigger part of the areas in the middle for the clouds. However, here, we are cutting the shapes out instead. This is because we want the black to show the dark of the night and let the yellow paper show through the shapes. Add extra circles or shapes to fill the empty spaces.
I'll be adding thinner diamonds on this one over here and I bet it would look cool like how the night sky shows us all the stars. See, it feels like a beautiful starry night. This means that for the night setting, we need a yellow art paper for the background. When I use the other design, it gives a different feeling. That's what I love about this project. There's a lot of freedom and creativity involved. You can easily put this on your book tunnel and change from day setting to night setting. But I made another book tunnel cover so we can appreciate both night and day setting at the same time. The only difference here is that I made the bottom part a little smaller than the first one. Now we can place each pages. Oh, I forgot to remove the 1 fourth inch from the yellow paper. That's why it's not fitting well. Let's remedy that, shall we? Place all the pages nicely on the book tunnel. Put the unused pages at the back. We've finished our night setting. If all you have are plain white papers, or a different kind of paper, instead of the one mentioned before, you can still create this project. Let's see what happens if we don't have a board and art papers. Will it still look wonderful? Of course, we still need to create the book covers. The front cover needs a window frame, so let's follow the process mentioned earlier. Oh no, I messed the frame up. Don't worry about it. We have our tape, we can just stick them together. Let's attach the bottom part. But first, I think I want to remove some of it, make it smaller than the first one. Decide whatever size you want. Combine all the parts of the tunnel book. Let's see if it will hold up like the first two. Ta-da! It does! It still works as the other two. Let's set this aside first and work on our book pages. We'll just be using the bond paper here. Get your pencil and ready your coloring materials. What you need to do first is to create small sketches. Start with the main drawing and see how you would like it to look when you put it together. Then, for the next boxes, divide them into parts. Like here, the sun, clouds, trees at the back, the middle, and the font. This process actually gives you more freedom to create any pages, any drawing, and tell different story you're setting. The only limitation is your imagination. In the small sketch, it seems I need five paper. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The last one would be for the background. Before we start drawing, we need to mark the one fourth inch that we need to remove and the half an inch border. We need to do that to all the pages so we won't have to worry about it later. The borders and the marks are done. We can now begin sketching. Draw each part like Look at your previous sketches to see that each pages will still be seen when we place them together. Get your coloring materials and begin filling your background. Combine shades with whatever you fancy. Fill the rest of the pages. Don't let the lack of materials stop you from creating and using your talents for the glory of God. Here I am showing you that you can still create beautiful art. Even if all you have are paper, pencil, color, scissors, and your creativity. Time to use the cutter again. God's steadfast love endures forever. As it is written in Psalm 136 verses 1 and verses 7 to 9. 
give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. To Him who made the great lights, for steadfast love endures forever. The sun to rule over the day, for His steadfast love endures forever. The moon and stars to rule over the night, for His steadfast love endures forever. Let's place them together and see how they look. It still look wonderful. If you use colored markers, you will get a more vibrant effect. But I love how this one turned out. There's a homey and cozy feel to it. In the day 4 of the creation, the Lord placed the sun, moon, and filled the night sky with stars. You can create countless designs that you can place inside the tunnel book desk display. I couldn't resist and cut another set of day setting. I think this one has a more sunset mood to it, which you easily can place on your tunnel book to change the display. You can create a setting where there are only clouds, because sometimes that happens too. You can't see the sun, the stars, moon, and it's too cloudy. But that doesn't mean that they aren't there. Just as these great lights continue to shine despite the clouds, the same goes for God's love for us. Though we may not see it or feel it, God is protecting us and His promises still stands. We are so thankful that you are here with us on our fifth video for the Creation Art Series. Watch the other videos on our channel. You can also find them in the description below. In Philippians 2 verses 15 to 16, Paul instructs us believers to shine among them like stars in the sky as you hold firmly to the word of life in a world of deep darkness that we may draw others to the source of our hope, Jesus. Every part of creation, every drop of nature was created for us by God to show that He loves us dearly. Look at the sun during the day, and the moon and the stars at night, and be reminded of God's spiritual light that represents His promises of hope and bright future for each one of us. Don't forget to subscribe and support for more arts and crafts projects. Hope to see you crafting with us again next time. Bye-bye!